Well, it is a wild Wednesday here at Good Day Columbus, and we're letting <laughs> Percy eat in peace. I think that's probably a good tactic, don't you? Yeah, at the moment, that seems like a good idea before he starts throwing quills everywhere. Heather Price is here from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium this morning. Tell us about, what is Percy? Percy is a prehensile-tailed porcupine. So not all porcupines are prehensile. No, he's actually the only one that has that prehensile tail, and that's because he lives in the trees in the rainforest of South America. So. He needs an extra arm to get around all of those trees all day long. So he's hanging on to the branches with that tail. Exactly, yeah. He'll use his tail to help balance while he's running through the trees and can even hang from it if they don't get too big. So huh. it's a really useful tool for How big will a Percy get? Percy's only about five months old now, oh, so he wow. can get up to 11 pounds. So almost double the size that he is now. You're going to need to wear a back brace carrying Percy around. <laughs> <laughs> he gets 11 pounds. I'm, I'm fascinated by his little nose. He's got this it's little... It's so cute. Uh, uh, how do you describe it? It's not it's quite like... It's very bulbous and yeah, cute. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's really cute. So it, does he forage with that? He does. He's nocturnal, so he's going to come out at night when oh. there's not a lot of light out for him to see. And his primary sense is going to be that nose to help him find different fruits, leaves that he might like to eat or even rip the bark off of a tree and re eat the uh, layer right underneath wow. the bark. Oh, he's got, oh, got a little itch. Got a little itch. <laughs> take care Look at his little hands just cup the, what is that, a date? Is that what it's he's eating? It's a fig. A fig. Likes the figs. So what, I noticed you have peanuts out. What, what is the whole methodology here with all this trail mix you're giving him? The methodology uh -huh. is find something that he likes. <laughs> <laughs> so in the wild, like I said, they eat fruits and leaves, but at the zoo we have to be more creative sometimes because he doesn't like the healthy stuff. So uh -huh. we give him treats like Percy. figs or dates, no, peanuts. Yeah. He's got these huge whiskers out yeah. here. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, they're about as wide as he is long. Yeah, they're also a great way for him to find his way around in the dark. So just like your cat at home, I have the whiskers that helps them move around and mm -hmm. sense different things around him. He uses them the same exact mm -hmm. way. Now, the quills don't go unnoticed. So that is obviously for defense mechanism, definitely correct? Definitely a great way of defending Do they yourself. restore those? Once you lose a quill, do they grow them back? They definitely they do? do. They're just modified hair. So they're really bristly. And his quills are actually barbed. So we can't see the barbs at all. But if you look at it under a microscope, it has mm. tiny little microscopic barbs. Ouch. And that works really well for defending themselves in the wild. Because if an animal gets too close, bumps into him, that quill will release from his skin and stick into the predators. So what does he, does he ball up and make them stick out or what is he, how does he how does he defend himself great question he wants to look really big and scary first so he doesn't oh. have to use his quills so right now he's really calm cool and collected and all of his quills are laying down if he were scared he would poof those up stick them straight up and you would notice that they're actually yellow right at the base of them which kind of serves as a warning color huh. and um, then he'll start growling stomping his feet biting hmm. and a last resort is to use that tail and whip it around or even shake his quills to get close enough to a predator to hit him. Now does a, a porcupine then have a natural predator? Believe it or not, I find it hard to believe anything could attack this guy, but there have been reported documentations of jaguars and ocelots or even birds of prey Whoa. being able to get these guys and eat them. Huh. How do they get past the quills? Good question. They have a soft underbelly. Oh, so if the animal get gets lucky underneath. enough to get them so their belly up, they can get them that way. But mm. really, the biggest predator for porcupines are humans. In South America, oh, really? they go for the easy stuff. They like to go for the crops. So farmers aren't too happy with them. Mm -hmm. They go out and they take care of the porcupines themselves. Oh, boy. And a lot of native communities actually will eat the porcupine, too. So Tastes like chicken. Yeah. He's like, hello, I'm find um, out. trail mix, please. He's uh, like, I'm out of figs. I need more here. <laughs> need more. Must have more you figs. You are cute as can be. He's got fascinating eyes. Yeah. They're almost lizard-like. Yeah, not too great of eyesight. Like I said, he uses the nose primarily. And Clearly, because if he yeah. saw himself, he'd be Does depressed. He, <laughs> he doesn't have eyelids. No, he can close them a little bit if he wants to, but he doesn't have really big eyelids that close like ours. Huh. Tell us, why Percy? How do you name these animals at the zoo? Oh, we we all vote on it most okay. of the okay. time, but he, he came like a from person? a Tanganyika Wildlife Park, and when we got him in, we said we want a P name, so we went with uh, Percy. The a lot of alliteration going on. Percy it is. Yeah. <laughs> now this weekend is a big weekend at the zoo for military families. Absolutely, we definitely want to thank our serving members and past serving members of the military, so they can get in absolutely free 
with their immediate family, their immediate family gets in free too, and that's nice. through the 6th of July. What do they have to show in the way of ID? Just their military ID or proof of serving. That's great. Um, and if they don't want to go to the zoo, Zumbizi Bay is a great place to go. They get discounted tickets there that's as well. Very Fantastic. true. Perfect for this 4th of July weekend. Mm -hmm. so very Percy, nice. you're going to be busy. Don't <laughs> eat too much. You're going to have lots of visitors, pal. <laughs> Look at the claws on him. Gotta he have prefers. great tools for climbing. Fingernails. Think, yes. <laughs> okay. Nice mani pedi you got there, pal. Perfect. All Thank right. you, Heather. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Heather. Appreciate it. All right. Coming up. Do you have a clue? Uh, I. Yes. What's coming up next? I think we have Ashley Curl. Our, Ashley is here. Yes. The Columbus our, Socialite. Our Socialite is here with all the events that you need to know about coming up for this weekend. That's in a minute. <laughs> and if not, <laughs> stick around. We'll stick find around. out. We'll come up with, with something. You. It's all good. <laughs> It'll all be a surprise. A half hour with Percy coming up. <laughs>